Welcome to the sixth episode of my tutorial series on the AVR framework. In this episode, I want to cover the different movement types that are currently bundled inside the framework. For this example, I am continuing our tutorial level that we created in previous episodes. So to look at the different movement types that are available, let's head off over in the experience object. And here if we scroll down to the end, we see the part that we covered in the last episode, which were the different tutorial, uh, the different teleport types. And uh, right below there, we see the different movement types. So there are several movement types that can be combined. We, we can combine either the, the walking or the flying movement type. And uh, those can be combined with uh, fluent, stop motion, or ghost. Fluent meaning that we have a fluent motion while walking or flying. Stop motion means that we have iterations while moving or flying. So it creates this kind of stop motion, which is prohibiting um, uh, motion sickness. And then we have another way, which is a very game oriented way, a ghost that moves instead of you that you see. And as soon as you uh, uh, let go of the movement, you'll teleport to the point where the ghost was, was originally heading. And uh, those movement types can be controlled on a different type uh, in, in different ways. So the direction mainly defines uh, that our movement is heading in the direction that our controller is currently pointing. Our movement relative to origin means that when you start the movement, the uh, whichever direction uh, relative to the point where you started holding your controller was is now the direction that you're going. Um, I think it's easiest if, if you uh, try it out, or I'll show that in, in just a bit. And uh, position relative to origin means that the character that you're, that you're controlling, the ghost character, has its position relative to the origin where you had your controller. I know that's very, very roughly explained, but it does make sense when, when you try it out. Um, and all of those uh, movement iterations also come with additional uh, additional adjustments. So uh, when we have the stop motion or we have the movement with, with teleportation, we can um, select if we want to have a fade, like the blinking eye fade, that allows us to, to have not that much of a strong movement and we can also define the movement speed and the movement iterations while having the um the, uh, the stop motion movement let's look at the different movement types in vr so now that we are in vr we can open our settings again and we see that the second half of the settings are dedicated to the direct movement and um the first and simplest direct movement is basically the walk and combined with the fluent. So if I press the X button, I'm just gonna walk around and have fluent motion. I cannot go through any obstacles. This prevents me from it. And this is basically the normal Unreal movement attached to my character. And um, the same can be said for the stop motion, but the stop motion has the uh, advantage that it doesn't walk fluent, uh, take me fluently while walking. It creates a stop motion feeling, which doesn't cause any VR nausea. It's much more easy to, to digest in this way. And the third way is the walk uh, with, with, uh, with the ghost combined with a relative movement. So if I press the X button, I'm gonna have a character running around. So the relative movement, just to just to make the explanation uh, a bit clearer, is if I hold my if I press the X button, this is going to be the origin of my movement. If if I hold front or ref or right of that origin, this character is going to move in that direction, depending on where I have it. It's actually not that hard to control and I think it's a very nice way to to get around. As soon as I let go, I'm going to teleport wherever my character is. The Let me get back to my position. The 
S second movement control is a position relative. That means I have my position again, and wherever I have my character relative to that position, I can actually place. The direction is defined by wherever, uh, however I hold my controller. So if I hold it on the right, he's going to look to the right. When I hold it to the left, he's going to look to the left. I can get further and closer. And I'm just going to place him here. And the third one, which I like very much, is the direction. So basically, then he's just running into the direction that I hold my controller. This is very fast and very easy, so I can have him running around. And wherever I want to stop, I can place my character. So these movement types are very, very well for gaming and um, are very comfortable to use. So we can uh, not only have the walking movement types, we can also have the flying. So the flying we can also combine with the fluent movement, which just allows us to fly anywhere, wherever I hold my, in whichever direction I hold my controller, I'm going to fly there. Going back to the beginning, I also have that in stop motion. That means I can do the same thing as with walking, meaning I'm going to create a stop motion. I'm going to fly down again, get back to my position, and the same with um uh, with with a ghost so the ghost in this case is the camera and it's got, just going to fly in the direction that i want him to fly depending on where my controller is pointing and i'm going to end up wherever i want so um especially when when uh, working with the camera movement the speed that can be adjusted in an experience object is very important um, to get to the other relative movement, uh, to the other um, controlling types of the flying camera, is one is uh, uh, move relative. So he's going to move wherever it's relative to my controller. So I want to fly right, I want to fly left, I want to fly back, and I want to fly in front. Get back, just going to rotate and end up there. And I think. The the best one for the uh, for the camera is definitely the position relative. So if I have my position on the middle here, I can actually very clearly define where it's going to end up. If my VR tracking would work just fine. So I'm going to end up exactly right here, and with the camera, I can I can uh, do that especially. Uh, precise, uh, precise. So if I hold my controller right here, I can say very precisely where I want to end up, in which direction I want to look, and I have very much time to do so. I can end up down here and look at that cube from down here. So let me teleport up again, get back to my original position. Okay, and that was all on the different movement types. I hope you're going to find one that you like. There, there are a lot of combinations to choose from, a lot of parameters here you can set, and I think there has to be one in there that definitely fits your game or purpose. So that is going to be all for this episode, and I hope I will see you in the next episode. Bye!